Looking up in the night sky, have you ever wondered what mysteries resides on those celestial bodies? Well, actually the whole universe is itself a mystery and we still don't really understand it. Studying our own solar system, we'll find a glimpse of the mysterious nature of the universe. Things that we don't intuitively think to be possible, exist out there in the universe. From hellish planets to water-carrying comets, we have no shortage of science fiction stuff. Well, today we are going to show you some moons which are actually stranger than science fiction. And for that, we are not going anywhere else but our own solar system. Water spitting volcanoes. A volcano is a rupture in the crust of a planetary mass object that allows hot lava, volcanic ash, and gases to escape from below the surface. At least that is what our general understanding is. But have you ever heard about volcanoes spitting water ice and hydrocarbon? Well, there are places in our solar system where this strange phenomena takes place. The largest moon of Neptune, Triton, is one such place. It is volcanically very active but unlike the other places of the solar system where they spew out lava, Triton's volcano erupt liquid water and ammonia, which then freezes on contact with the frigid outer temperatures, creating a solid outer surface. These ice volcanoes, also called as cryovolcanoes, are also being found on the Saturn's moons Enceladus and Titan, increasing the livelihood of alien life on them. The Oceanic World Europa, a moon of Jupiter, has one of the smoothest surfaces in the solar system. That's because the entire moon is a single ocean of water with an ice crust on the surface. But just like the soft, gooey cheese hidden inside pizza crust, a liquid ocean of water exists beneath this icy shell, caused by the tidal heating from Jupiter. This oceanic world, which is actually smaller than our Earth contains two to three times more water than our Earth. And here's the kicker, depending on the warmth of this ocean, which would come from Europa's core and heating from Jupiter, it could potentially support life. And we're not talking bacteria here. There is a legitimate possibility that Europa could support complex life. The Hollywood movie, Europa Report, is based on this very theory, where a team of scientists land on the icy surface of Europa and then were pulled down beneath the ice by the alien life, of Europa. Well, that is just a movie but, who knows? The Volcanic Hell Volcanoes from Iceland to Turkmenistan have been described as gateways to hell. But nowhere in the solar system is this term more apt than on Io. This moon of Jupiter, we now know, is in an almost constant state of eruption. And this is because of the enormous tidal friction caused by the parent planet, Jupiter. This moon is practically Mordor from the Lord of the Rings. In fact, the entire surface is covered with volcanoes. There are virtually no craters on Io because lava from the eruptions fills them and wipes the surface clean. These volcanic eruptions can be seen from space, and these eruptions have some kick to them too. Some rise as high as 190 miles and have half the velocity required to fling lava into space. If Europa is one of the best places to find life in the solar system, few would be worse than Io. Home, away from home. Titan, largest moon of Saturn and the second largest natural satellite in the solar system, by far, is the strangest moon in our solar system. This mammoth is the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere, and it's the only world besides Earth that has standing bodies of liquid like rivers, lakes and seas. Probably of liquid methane and ethane. Just like Earth, Titan's atmosphere is primarily nitrogen, plus a small amount of methane. It is the sole other place in the solar system known to have an Earth-like cycle of liquids raining from clouds, flowing across its surface, filling lakes and seas, and then evaporating back into the sky. It is also thought to have a subsurface ocean of water. Because of the organic nature of most of the chemicals, found on this moon, Titan could potentially harbor environments with conditions suitable for life, meaning both types of life, the one we know, in the subsurface ocean, and the one we don't know, in the hydrocarbon liquid on the surface. But far more exciting is the possibility of colonizing Titan in the future to harvest resources from Saturn. There will be many challenges involved, but everything necessary for human life is there, liquid water beneath the surface, gravity comparable to our own moon, and abundant fuel and fertilizer. It may be a long way off, but Titan is one of our best chances for colonizing, strip mining, and polluting yet another body in the solar system. 